Hello everyone, hello girls, everyone who's watching the recording. So today um, we will try to experiment with optical illusions. So it means that, um, yeah, so what is optical, what is illusion? It's something that, that we see and it seems like differently, not the way it is. So of course we have a flat paper, but we're gonna try to create uh, the feeling of 3D volume. And here is even a little bit like feeling of, of movement. Yeah, it's like, yeah. So it, it's not hard, but I find it quite as fun. And uh, you you can also of course choose the um, choose the colors you want. Yeah? So this is as an example, but I suggest we try with two hands. Yeah, we we take straight away a bit more complicated uh, thing. So okay, my paper is kind of small, so just try your hands out. Yeah, maybe it's gonna be just part of the fingers that's fitting in. Maybe one hand bigger, like fitting more, one hand fitting less. So like, as artists think of composition, composition is always the first thing we think of, and then we start to work. So this is my choice. So this left hand, I'm going to have just few, so not the whole hand, just the fingers. And what I do, I just go around with my pencil. Nothing complicated at all. Nice. Yeah. Once I'm done, here I'm going to a little bit like make the lines a bit more thicker so just you can see them better on the screen. Mm -hmm. You can leave your lines as, as they are. Aha! Uh -huh. I said the thumbs up. So it worked? Nice. Let's do the second hand. Let's change a bit the composition. So different angle, different position for the hand. Here I'm trying to fit already more of my hand also like the whole palm maybe even a little bit of the wrist mm -hmm. And again, if there are some lines that kind of were breaking up, then I just kind of repeat them. And we have our setup. I see the hands. Wow, looks really nice, little girls. Good job, Pita. And Yuri also. Nice one. Really nice. Okay, for the second task, we will need the ruler. Yeah, so something straight. Because you see, all the lines, they have the same size. Yeah, and this is what. <gasps> no, is it hard for you to get a ruler? Okay, no problem. For the real artist, it's okay. It's all fine. You don't have one because real artists can solve the situation also without the ruler. So what you do? If you don't have a ruler, just take any bit of paper, small, big, like any any paper left over you have around, you know. So here I'm taking one piece of paper that you know 
I'm ready to, to throw away. Can you repeat that because um I haven't started because you were looking for rulers. Okay, yeah. So take your time, no rush. So either you have a ruler or you have a paper. But what's the connection? Is that it doesn't matter if I don't have a ruler. I can mark. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's admit Yaya is joining us. Hi, hello. Okay, let's, let's give the person the time to, to set. Welcome. So we're continuing. So what we did, we have just traced our hands. Very easy, just with a pencil. And now we, we are checking. What we can do if we don't have a ruler, we can just take any piece of paper and I can mark myself like some dimension. Hello. Hi, hello. Hello. Welcome, welcome to the art lesson. Yeah, we already started. Feel free to, to continue with us. Yes, uh, one second. Of course. I'm just gonna yeah. draw a line because I have a bigger paper. That's good, no problem. Okay, I drew a line. Yeah, so what we I don't did... know. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we're supposed to do. So we have just started recently. They were practicing optical illusion. And so what we did for now on our plain paper, all what we did, we just traced our hands. Very easy, very quickly. You can play a bit with the composition. Like here I have less of the hand and here I have a bit more. So just a very easy task, yeah, so. Okay, I'm doing it right now. Very good, I did it quickly. And um, and the next step would be doing the lines. So for the ones who don't have a ruler, still it's good if you find something with what you can draw straight lines. So it's not really about those marks the ruler has. It's about something straight. It can be, you know, like some box, you know, something. Or again, maybe a piece of cardboard. Yeah? It's something that helps you draw a straight line to do all, all these lines. Yeah? Aha! Uh -huh, you have a ruler. Very nice. I see you. So what do we do? We have our measurement. So once you have a ruler, you can take One it. One second, I still have to. Of course, yes, catch up, no worries. We, we go slowly. So what we do, we just mark here all our, you know, dimensions. Just a little, a little tick, like a little, A little line. So I'm just measuring the distance. All I need is to measure the same distance on the right side and on the left side of the paper. And once I'm done with one side, I just continue and do the same the other side. Okay, I kind of drew it now. I just have to make it cleaner. That's all. Sure. Good job. Mm 
Okay, I drew my hands. So if the hands are ready, the next step is you to take either a ruler. I or... have a big ruler. Wow, and then you are perfectly set. Then all you need is just to mark the same distance. The distance you choose. I can oh. choose my distance. Yes. So like not too big, not too small. Here, let's say I have one centimeter. Um, if you have, if you're more comfortable with other measurements like inches, you just. I'm also going to do one centimeter. So it's perfect. Yes. So on the both sides, we do the centimeter. Um, EV, do you guys also have um autumn holidays, fall holidays, or hat? I didn't get you right. If you have what? Uh, do you guys also have um fall ho the autumn holidays? Ah, autumn holidays. Well, it it really depends on the country. So, uh, the autumn holidays in my country are coming next week. What about you? Um, we already had our autumn holidays. Uh -huh. I see. Very nice. P and Yo Yo. Do you have autumn holidays? You mean like um the half term on um starting next week? Oh, interesting. Okay. So you see? Everyone has a bit different. But cool, yeah. Thanks for asking. I'm almost done. I just have a big paper. <laughs> yeah. But I'm only using Looks half very of it. Cool on P on your yo image. Very nice. But I'm not really that done. I'm I'm still using like an A4 size approximately. Yeah. I'm also an A4 size. Yeah, so it's, it's all good. I didn't draw the la lines a little straight. They went like this is so, it okay we're not we're not doing lines yet we just did like no, like the small lines these are like the lines and all the lines went like this in this shape i, I, I just like I, I, I see your camera i just can hear you oh. um all the lines went kind of diagonally well, but the li the little lines are only the shape of them are like diagonally. It doesn't matter if they're pointing up or down. The more important, they have the same distance. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yes, yeah, we're just waiting for Yaya to finish and then we go all together. Thank you, thank you for waiting for Yaya. I see your thumbs up. Yeah, just a few more minutes. I can see you now. Very nice. You're done. Oh, yeah, I all the sizes. Um, with the lines, all my lines are straight, but the lines shape went like this. Doesn't matter. The, I repeat, the most important is the distance to measure. But now and you. Can... One other thing is on the lines. The last line after the last one, there's only a little bit place left, and so not a centimeter. I have the same. It doesn't Is matter. It okay? Of okay. course. Yes, no worries. So what we do now? Now we have something straight long. So it, it can be a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, you just take like let's say a piece of cardboard, a paper, anything just that helps you to draw a straight line. And you connect. So now we should have the lines at the same distance. And I connect them and draw a line. And how it works. If I have nothing on the way of straight line, 
I just draw it straight. Yeah, I just connect it. But once I have my fingers on the way, then I stop. Then I draw the line and I stop. So I don't draw a line above my fingers. Yeah. So the other lines, I'm leaving like fingers empty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's just the way I go all the way down. So I connect once I'm touching the line of any finger. I stop, I lift my pencil, and then and then I continue. Yeah, so I need straight lines all along from up to down. Evie, what if it's not in the um what happens if it's not in the exact space like one centimeter? Well, connect them as, as they go. I mean, like, it's okay if they're a little bit unperfect. It's it's fine. It's still going to look nice. Yeah? It's going to take a while with mine because I'm not really good at drawing straight lines. Feel free to draw them a bit under the angle. No worries about it. I can't really do it straight. So fine, Pio. Um, I think your artwork will look even more interesting if it's not perfectly straight. So this is really not the thing to worry about. Did I do the wiggly line? Yeah, also the wiggly line. So um, this 3D effect or this optical illusion we create by doing a wiggly line inside our hand. So the next step after all those straight lines, we're going to be doing this curvy line inside the, the hand. So then it feels like ooh, it's moving, it's, it has volume. Yeah? But if your lines here are not really straight now, just go for it. Just kind of, yeah, the, do the best you can. And don't worry, it's still gonna look nice. So you can also do wiggly lines. Of course, try to use something straight. Try to use a ruler or yeah. Um, because like the wiggly line would look good inside the shape of the hand. But um, yeah, it's not the end of the world. If it won't look perfect. Then I'm going to do the wiggly lines. Okay, right, let's go. Let's go for this experiment. Sure. But it's going to take a little bit longer, I think. 
No worries, we have time. All the time you need, girls. Don't rush. Of course, a little quicker, but you take the time you need. Evie, what's your dream vacation spot? Wow, such a cool uh, question. Um, well, actually, since, well, you've asked before about autumn vacation. And autumn vacation in Latvia, that's, that's where I am, it's coming next week. Mm -hmm. So for next week, I have planned a little trip. And I'm going to the... Um, to Italy. And oh, no. Yes, and I'm going to, we, to the island. Maybe you can also go to Vatican City. Yeah, that's in Rome. I've been there. I'm, I'm always, like, since you've asked me about the vacation, it's always connected to the, to the sea. There must be water, the beach, mm -hmm. and waves. So, i actually never been to the beach. Oh, well, I'm sure you will. You have many. Yeah, Ooh, I see the yo-yo's uh, lines. Wow, good girls. Hard work. I can. I'm just at my fourth line right now. We go. We all go in our own pace. Uh, I'm just gonna show how the wiggly lines look. Yeah, let's let's see. Look, uh huh. Nah, they're not that wiggly. Come on, I imagine they are like mountains, but they look really sweet. Yeah, so it's gonna take a little. That's all fine. Yeah. I'm gonna I wait. also saw another optical illusion one day, but super easy. You can just do it in five minutes. Okay, two minutes. Maybe you can share the one you know, the quick one. Evie, so in Germany, after fourth class, fourth class, you go to another school. Interesting. So kindergarten, then you go join first class. That's another school, and then you basically after your after fourth class, you go into another new school to do fifth class and. And the other and some other classes, and basically, um, I also miss my old class because I know them longer, obviously. And I um, I'm in the like dance project right now. And in that dance project, you have to work in like a sports hall. Mm -hmm to practice it and then for that we were first in my school's um sports hall and some other kids joined from my old school but they're not from my class so I don't know them and now we're going to my old school school's sports hall I hope I see some of my classmates that's why I'm super excited oh that sounds very cool sounds uh, do you have to meet 
lots yeah. of classmates and do lots of fun activities. Very happy for you. When was your, I mean, like, you do you remember what your elementary school was called? <laughs> Yes. Um, so I also was changing schools, um, but it was a long time ago. But of course, school times is something that every person remembers, even if you already grown up. But it's special time. And it's I'm happy if you enjoy it. That's the most important. And one other problem is because of the classes I'm missing, because it's not after the class. There are also kids from my school there. And it's not after the class, the project. It's while the class is actually going for other students. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's of course an issue. And then I always have to um, do everything that data and then also do the homework. Then it's also a little tough. That's true. Well, but. So it's for but those that I'm going to learn. And then we're performing at a hotel. Ooh, fancy. But we're not, I'm not staying there and going home, but maybe some other people will stay there. I see. Maybe the ones who travel from. Yeah, but one other thing is the parking tickets are free because we are dancing there and all the guests we invite, invite all the parking tickets are free. Mm -hmm. And even the tickets, they give you tickets. Okay. So I'm super excited. Everything is free. Except if you want to stay overnight, then you got to pay. Because I don't think the hotel is also very, I mean, it costs super much, a lot to be like a night there. Mm -hmm. I'm almost done now. Oh, very nice. Ooh, I think I like the wiggle, wiggling lines more. <laughs> you see? That's how it was in the end. It looks more funky. Mm I still have so much to go. So, who's ready with all the lines? I'm almost ready. I only have three lines to go. But you, you can already start. Nice one. You're ready to continue? Not yet. Oh, not yet. Okay, sure. I think it's time to finish. I'm happy that we're coloring with markers today. Yeah, so it's a bit rest from pain and the water and brushes. What did you do last week? Actually, the two last weeks we were doing arts and crafts. 
So we were doing the color paper with scissors and glue. Oh, I'm, I'm done with my funky. Yep. It looks like this. Mm -hmm. Cool. I accidentally followed the paper here. Ah, it, it will be straight again once you do. Evie, which one do you like more, the funky one or the normal one? I guess the funky one is always more fun. <laughs> well, then you can do the funky one because not everyone is done yet if you want to. I see. Well, but I feel almost everyone is done. We will continue shortly. I'm very excited. I, I, did, I did one um, wiggly and like some bumpy lines and I did one with smooth lines. This is the Inter bumpy. Interesting, you did the lines inside the hand. Okay, then like since Pia, you, you did the, the lines inside the hand, so you'll have the same task now, but for the lines that are outside. Because the effect of this like 3D of this moving of this volume is made that we have straight lines and then in between the lines we create a little bit curvy line so kind of I take each of these lines I have the start I have the end and then just I connect the lines with a bit curvy so you can do here the same but on the outside so you have straight lines inside the hand, and then you do this a little bit curvy lines outside, and then you'll also have the, the result. Right? And then it's easy, you just connect, because you have the start, you have the end line. All you need to do is just draw a curvy line in between. It might be a little hard with the funky line, so. Oh, I started at the wrong spot. Yeah, yeah, um, be careful to like connect the right dots. Yep, that's exactly what I did right now. I didn't connect them. So you kind of first you check. And once you get to the kind of long, so where, where the fingers are, it's easy. It's a short distance. But at some moment, you will reach the palm. And it's like, whoo, a really long way to go. But all the same there, the only thing you create a longer curvy line. Yeah? Oops, I didn't connect this. But the funky ones are a little hard, harder. Because they're already like up and down and then more up as well. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, but still like keep on doing it will improve once we get to the color oh i see the fears in your one nice one I really want to do it. well if you already have all the lines then you're ready to start the colors and feel free to choose this is just example like you can have two colors maybe you have three colors Maybe you can have, um, yeah, so it's like now you are the artist and I always, the most important thing that I'm always trying to tell you is that the main job, your main task as being artist is making decisions. You are, as artist, you take decision. I take two colors. I take this and this color. 
or maybe experiment and I agree, and so on and so on. But you need to decide. And which with each artwork you're doing, you're always deciding. And there is no right and bad. It's always room for experiments and for trying. Evie, mm -hmm. for some reason, I have su such a big, like, a big gap in the middle of the hand. I don't know what I did wrong. Um, just add line in between. It doesn't matter where this line goes. Like, just, you know, fill it gap with one more line and lead it somewhere. I also had this case. Feel free, just like, you draw the line and set it somewhere in the corner, it's gonna look fine. It's exactly also the trick you as an artist do to the viewer, the ones who's watching your, looking at your drawing or painting. They don't realize all these technical parts we do. They don't know much about lines and colors. Yeah, they just like look and enjoy. They say it looks good or maybe they say it looks bad. So um, we are we are free to experiment with the technique. Are you already done? Oh, I'm done with the lines. I'm still taking my time to choose the colors, and I'm not sure if I. So I'll do two, or maybe I'm going to try to do three colors. Yeah, and of course, and usually I'm always going for a bluish, greenish, but maybe this time I'm, I'm, I should go with the, I kind of feel like. I usually always go with like a purple, mm -hmm. but I think this time I'm going to go with, 
the most well, unusual color combination, I think. It's so purple, purple, but mm -hmm. it's purple and yellow. Nice. So this is a very good point, yeah. Thank you. You said purple and yellow. And as we remember, purple and yellow are complementary colors. They're opposite on the color wheel. Mm -hmm. and so this is again your choice of artist. Either you take, like, let's say now what I did, I chose those three colors and they are kind of standing, you know, on one side mm -hmm. of each other. So this is one technique. The other technique, exactly the opposite. So instead of taking this, let's say I take green and red. And those again are complementary colors, yeah? Mm -hmm. Or blue and the orange also complementary colors. And and then different effects you choose. I would say if mm -hmm. you have colors, maybe it's also actually it's better you choose the complementary, so the opposite colors. Is this good, Evie? Let me see. Oh, it looks nice. I feel the volume, yes. Okay, now I'm gonna color it. I'm gonna use markers and a color pencil. Yeah. Oh. This one. All right. I'm. I'm. I've chosen those three colors. Okay, I'm actually gonna choose more than two because I'm honest. The markers I also have, these are the markers that are water soluble. So I can add. I have um, fa, it's a German brand called Fabelkaster. Yeah, so that's a good brand, yes. I choose purple, yellow, and green. Ooh. Because they're not really that matching to each other, except yellow and green. But I'm going to put purple in between, so. Right. Let's go ahead and try those ones. Because this is another task of artists, is always experimenting and trying. I think it's going to take a little time. Does anybody know um, which school there? Which school, like what do you mean? Like, um, the school. The name of the school? Or of the year, or... Um... Yes, yeah, um, about, um, like, um, uh, which school, um... Yeah, 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 I get it. So, yeah, can you share? Where is your school? What is your school name? Just because you need to, to get to know each other, and then Pia, yo, yo. They will tell about their school. And I can tell also about the school where I'm teaching. So who, who want to start first? About the school? About the school. Just because the other person doesn't know nothing about the school. For you, yeah. it's something you know, but... um, I have a question. How old are you, Pio and Yo-Yo? Yo yo is five. I'm um almost nine. Oh. How old are you? Yeah, yeah. Um who did you ask? Uh, uh how old are you? Um Senora. Um I am ten right now. Very nice. So then you are the oldest from the girls. Do you want to share about your school? Okay. Um, my school is in Düsseldorf. Very nice. So Düsseldorf is in Germany. Yes. Yes, Düsseldorf is in Germany, in a country in Europe, and the school's name is Goethe Gymnasium. It's mm. a little hard to pronounce if you're mm. not really. That's familiar with German. Yes, that's true. But it's written like in an English way. It's not like 
and uh, we have different letters in German mm -hmm. to say like those O and E stuff. Very nice. But it's actually written English in the English way. Go to gymnasium. Mm -hmm. And gymnasium means the like the higher class stages. Yes. Well, it's not like higher class, but it's more like this is more where people are super good with their grades mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But there are also different schools with different stages because you don't want to be like the kids who are not so you're super good at school, but they go to a not really that hard school for them. It's going to be a little easy for them, but for the other kids, it might be a lot harder. So that's why they're like in three section schools. I agree. Yes. And yeah, my school is also very, very big. You can go through three ways in the school. Mm -hmm. The school contains in three streets, but not like the full, but like the playgrounds. There's one for the older classes, one for my class, and there's one where most of the people like get go to the school. They enter that ground. Mm -hmm. And... Um, yeah, and there they're about like our friends about in our school. Our friends, um, what's your friends? Uh, friends. Um, I have, I mean, I don't know how many friends I have, but friends for That's me, are, so one of the names are Ingrid, mm -hmm. she's with me in the dance project. Nice. And there's also one girl named Roche, mm -hmm. the Groschel. And Naomi, Lily. And yeah, there are a lot more, but I don't think I can name mm -hmm. all of them. But yeah. for me, I mean, like in the school, friends are just like people you morally talk to. It's not like. Of course. For example, I play with, I don't, I play more with like Rochelle and stuff like that and girls like that. I mean, like friends with Naomi and stuff. Uh, but I don't really play with Ingrid, except we're in the dance, dance project, but we're still friends. Like, sure. Uh, yeah. P P yeah, yeah. Do you want to tell us about your school? Yo yo wants to tell um you about um her school friends. Mm -hmm. School friend is called Isabella and there's also Hunter, Nathan Aeon, yeah. Matilda, Natalia, and, awesome. and also Gabriel. There's two Gabriels. Gabriel T and Gabriel O. Mm -hmm. Three. My friends are um, um people from different countries. One is from um Africa. She's called Ismat. One one is from Greece. Um, she's called Marina, and one is from Slovakia, and she's called Zara. Oh, such an international, amazing, very impressive. What about you? Oh, so well. I'm a teacher, so I also go to school, but then I go as a teacher there. Are you and, an art teacher in school? Yes, exactly. I, I, wow. I do. Did you have school today, like art teacher school? Yes, I have work today, and then I came home. And then Which take, grades do you teach? Take a look, uh, Sanyala, to the hands of Theo. They are awesome. Oh, that's a very pretty. That's impressive, amazing job. And I let's take a look at hands on the Nice. I like the color choice. Good one. Mine is going to take much longer. I'm just in my second row right now. Um, yeah, so either time or find. So I found the way. 
make it faster since I have this water soluble. Then I, I kind can of make fortune tellers if we have time. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. How long is this class gonna still be? Well, usually we we work like one hour, one hour and a half, depending how it goes. So we just see. Because mine's gonna take much, much longer. Yes, but it's also fine. You don't you don't finish it like with one go. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to finish it because I still have to go sleep. I still have to eat. Of course, you, you can rest and then you can always come back to it the next day. But I also might just um stop it. I mean, like, not right now after the class. Mm -hmm. First, I mostly shower at night times because I got dir dirty and I also want to get clean before I go to bed. That's very good. But it's also good if you shower in the morning, but then your like your water bills are not gonna be that normal anymore. If you shower morning and night, morning and night. Mm -hmm. If every family member does that, then it's a little hard. I see. So I I mean we can still pay it, but it wouldn't be like it would kind of be the waste of money. I understand. So I just shower night times. I've chosen that because, or else I'm also going to come late to school. <laughs> Good, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so I might just go shower, then eat, and then maybe I can send a photo after I'm yeah. done with this one. Of course, this would be awesome. We have the WhatsApp chat you can send, and the other girls can actually also see it. I can see it, we can comment. Mm -hmm. But it's probably not going to be sent by next week. <laughs> because I still have to practice for the dance project. And it's sun we're going to perform at Sunday. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So I'm also very excited. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take a break now. Ooh, the girls are showing the hands. Looks awesome. Of course, Anyana, feel free to um to switch off if you're done and um you need to go. No worries about it at all. Yes, and I'm in like a Wanna singing for for now. Just show us how how it looks. I only draw two lines. Doesn't matter. I didn't even start by the hands because it's, it's taking forever to even fill in these little funky things. Oh, but you're being like really, really super accurate and super wow. Mine are not water. Wow, that's cool for me, Yo. Take a look. Really fun. Very colorful. Good job, Yo Yo. Love it. Love the color choice. We are on the same way. Nice girl. So feel free to um, finish your hands. Yeah, uh, and then share. And then share, share the image. I have like a, a thing. Can we do the fortune teller? Say again? Can we do the fortune teller? We're not with um, the real one, like um, in the chat, and the fortune teller is in our head. Mm hmm. I see. Okay, Sanyana. Have a good evening. It was good to see you. Thank you for joining us today. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Can we play the fortune teller now? Ah, oh, the fortune teller now I got you. Okay, let's play one. Sure. Um, so, um, fine. Can we do it in the chat? In the chat. Okay. How? Well, okay. Then I'm starting the recording and then we can play it. So, my. My artwork is not done. 
but it's kind of Tio. more or less then, obvious how it's going to do the face thing. Oh. Thank you. Thank you everyone for watching.